Yesterday, January 13th, Comet Atlas C 2024 G3 arrived at perihelion, its closest point to the Sun. The encounter is being captured by coronagraphs aboard the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. It made it through the close call with the Sun yesterday. It brightened to magnitude minus 2.5, and the sunset sky is now a photo opportunity. On Monday, January 13th, Comet ATLASC 2024 G3 reached the Sun for a close encounter. At the moment, it is located far inside Mercury's orbit and 10 times closer to the Sun than Earth. How do I see IT? A clear, unhindered view toward the east-southeast and west-southwest horizons should be available to you. A clear, unhindered view toward the east-southeast and west-southwest horizons should be available to you. On Sunday morning, the comet will be just a few degrees above the east-southeast horizon, and on Tuesday night, it will be about the same distance above the west-southwest horizon. You will have a clear advantage if you can reach a shoreline where the sea horizon is flat or if you have access to a tall hill where you will be above any nearby obstacles. You should also anticipate clear skies free of low-lying clouds close to the horizon. Comet Atlas swiftly separates from the sun after perihelion as it swings into the evening sky. Once again, preference is given to observers in the southern hemisphere. The comet is predicted to fade rather quickly, but when its solar elongation reaches 11 on January 16th, it might be visible again. It should pull itself out of the twilight glow a few days later and rise high enough to be within easy binocular range. It will fade further and enter a dark sky after that. Southern Hemisphere observers will have the best chance of seeing Comet C2024 G3 at this time. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and feel free to reach out at any time. Your support is our greatest motivation.